Welcome back everybody to my channel. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Those of you who are new, thanks for being here. I appreciate you too. And hopefully we can see you again in the future. So going into this pour, I wanted to take things back to the beginning. When I began to pour a couple years back, I hopped in the car, drove to my local Michael store, picked up some two paints and off we went with some pouring medium. Now, all my colors this week are Artist Loft, uh, beginner grade we'll call it, colors I use my ivory black for my base, some copper, uh, metallic cobalt blue as well as some metallic blue for my colors and we'll see how this swipe turns out after we're through. Okay now as a brief disclaimer there is nothing wrong with artist loft grade paint. Um, I used it for well over a year before branching into Amsterdam or Liquitex or Golden. So whatever you use, keep doing you, it's fine. Um, I found that there are some better paints with binders and such that work a bit better than others. So this is just my two cents for we'll call it experimentation processes this week and seeing how things reacted now that I've got a bit more time out on my belt and have done a few of these um, in the past few years. So this is more of an attempt to see what may happen with this swipe than it is a product review, I suppose. So bear with me and we'll see how this one turns out. Okay, and going in for my second swipe, I found that my first swipe always tends to be a little bit hit and miss. So uh, the second one was much better. And I've also found that looking back on this video that artist loved paint is interesting in that it I, it I forgot it did this so with my ivory black base the colors began to sink much quicker than i remembered so i began to use from my black bases amsterdam primarily and this is ivory black by again uh, um, artist loft so the colors were sinking more quickly to the bottom and I was having a hard time spreading out my color more than um, you can see here. So I had to kind of rush once I got my beads of color down to get my colors across. Now in this swipe here, I actually managed to pick up quite a bit of black before my colors. So I don't have quite as much depth in the blue and of course the copper as well that I may want. So on this last attempt, I got a little bit lazy with it and <laughs> swiped across. A teeny bit so I went back and went for a third attempt making sure to spread a bit more blue across the face of the canvas before I began to swipe with my flow troll. Okay and here comes the magic. Here is the Australian flow troll I've come to love. So these colors here as we see them are nothing spectacular, nothing to like write home for. It's just kind of mediocre. And again, on this swipe, with my first swipe across with my cell activator, this just looked mediocre um, in my, my opinion. So this second go uh, was much better, gave really good depth in lacing. And again, you can kind of see across the whole thing, had much better pace to it and just smoothness. On my third go, um, I found that this was probably the prettiest lacing I got in the entire piece and again to my point earlier that artist loft tends to suck up that lacing and white paint like nobody's business so you get quite a bit of cell reaction and a little bit sorry a lot less lacing in the pour if you're relying on that Amsterdam to stick around on top it does just it does just get sucked to the bottom of the pour. Okay, and on to my tilt. So with this pour, this was a 16 by 20 inch canvas, gallery wrapped, and I was very careful initially off the tilts because I had a lot of paint. There was, I don't know, 15 ounces or so, but the black was quite murky or quite thick. So I had a hard time stretching this blue back and forth. So I'm actually going, I'm kind of rocking the canvas back and forth, back and forth and side to side trying to spread out those colors and get a bit more cell reaction and lacing in the pour than I had initially. So again, I'm just going back and forth to stretch the colors, trying to make something, something out of nothing. Again, I found initially looking down at this, this was kind of like, eh, whatever. 
but we kept going and wanted to have those colors poke through as best I could, just wanting to slow down and not rush it because I wanted to make something decent out of this pour with these really pretty blues. Okay, going into my question of the week, I am curious if any of you who happen to pour ever go back into your archives of videos or look at previous pours and try those techniques with those previous colors you maybe haven't touched in a while. Um, I'm not gonna lie, some of these tubes were pretty dusty that I dusted off today. So with this pour, these colors worked really well for a long time when I was still pretty new. Now I've kind of graduated, so to speak, into other things and other uh, brands I enjoy a bit more than Artist Loft. But again, this was a bit of an experiment for me on how things may go this time around with, again, more experience behind me. So do you go back in time and retry something with the previous brands you used at the very beginning. So I'm very curious. Let me know in the comments below and we can chat about it. Okay, and getting back into the pour here with my tilts, I actually found that by having rocked it back and forth in the beginning, it did spread those colors out nicely and the copper especially created this cool little transition um, line right down the center, which was a really nice place for a bit of contrast compared to the metallic blue and the cobalt blue, which is very, very pretty as a, it's one of my favorite artist lock uh, colors to be honest with you. So I found that the colors were coming together with a bit of help and gravity. So. Anyway, what do you guys think? I'm curious your thoughts on this pour plus color combinations. Let me know. Okay, looking back on this video, kind of in post-production, I did lop off a good chunk of video because I was a little teeny bit short on paint and this took an awful long time to tilt down to that corner in wanting to make sure all four corners got paint on them as well. So I actually chopped off the last corner as well based on the fact that it took 19 hours to get the paint to get there. Um, now all in all I found this pour turned out really quite nicely. I find the blues although they're similar complement each other quite well and the copper gave a nice third complementary color on top of the blues as an accent like I mentioned. So I'm going for this rivery look the past few months and I love my metallics as well so all in all, I was quite happy with how this pour turned out and we'll set it down for a wet look right about now. Okay, and for the best part, here is a close-up of the awesome cell reaction and lacing of this pour over the small river of copper into my cobalt and metallic blue, which gives off this nice little snake skin look to it, which is very neat. Um, Again, the ivory black kind of sucked in some color, which I expected, but all in all, the lacing and cell effects look really nice. I really enjoyed this painting by going back and trying paints I tried before. And anyway, if you have enjoyed this video, please click the like button below. And if you have not subscribed yet, please feel free. And we will see you again in the next one.